Okay, hello everybody. It's Wednesday, um, January 3rd, and this is the second time I've had to record this because I tried a new piece of software and it didn't work the first time at all. So I recorded like a massive 20-minute video and it turns out that it captured about the first five seconds and because I made a gesture with my hands, the Mac decided that it was going to jump in and add some sort of a weird thumbs up or some sort of gesture to it, which actually caused um, the tool that I'm using called this. Anyway, it doesn't matter the platform I'm using to um, stop recording. So hopefully I'm going to keep a little better eye on what's going on on my screen uh, to make sure that it maybe records everything. And that's quite bugging. But maybe it means that since I've said everything once, maybe I can get through it a little bit quicker. So today, a couple of things, what's happened today. Uh, woke up this morning, felt really good. The diet seems to be working, didn't feel bloated, really felt energetic, was like, okay, cool, this is great. By the mid-afternoon, the body started to fight back and I felt really, really tired and just wanted something to eat. And I think it was just, yeah, it's just my body. I've done low carb before, so my, my body was having to get used to it. So. I felt quite down this afternoon, actually, and I had one of the things I'll talk about in a minute is that I had some really good success in some of the stuff I was doing around work this morning. And so I was riding quite high, felt good, was really confident, doing a bunch of stuff. And then by the afternoon, I was just kind of like, oh, I just want to go home. So I actually left work early a little bit as soon as my son got there um, from school and came home early and just went, forget it, and had a big fat steak and felt better. So I'm now... On my peppermint tea and feeling a little bit better it's 9 30 at night so it's a little bit late but still got to get it done um, so the other thing so the good thing that happened this morning is is I got to work had a chat with a friend that I hadn't spoken to in a while and was talking through my sort of idea about the new podcast with him around fake smart and he thought, A, it was a great idea. And B, through the conversation, what I realized is, is that I have topics for eight, maybe 10 episodes already. And so I was a, through using the, the, the new platform that I use to set up and run my podcasts, I was able to actually go in and start putting those in as show ideas. And so that was amazing. And it meant that I could put notes in, I could put links into stuff that I wanted to reference, I could come up with names for it, and I have, I now have a whole list of all the different ideas of individual show topics that I want to have, and like, what's the main question of this conversation, and it means that now I can go out and start to try and find people who would be excellent to talk about that particular topic with, so I, I think that's something that's important, and it's something that I want to do more of, particularly with the creatives podcast is in the very beginning hey, I didn't know what I was doing I was just like I know a bunch of people and they're really smart and I want to have some conversations because they'll have some really cool things to say and they did and they are but I really I left it up to to the flow of the conversation a little bit more than maybe I should or I not that it's bad I just think it's better if I approach someone and I can say, hey, I have an idea of something that's specific that I want to talk about. And I think you'd be a great person to talk to that, to talk to that topic. And I think it, it narrows, or at least it gives some boundaries to the conversation. And it might make it a little bit easier for us to stay on topic and to have something that's interesting. So that's something I'm trying to do with all of the stuff that I'm doing. But anyway, it was quite exciting because he was really excited. And then we had a conversation and came up with some ideas and brainstormed some stuff. And he's willing to come on the podcast later. So he's going to come on and maybe talk about some sustainability related stuff or my crazy idea around free public transport for everyone. Um, so anyway, so that was really good. And then because I got really excited and jazzed up from talking to him, I thought, is this okay? I thought... I need to go and just sort this stuff out. And so I had to go and sort the domains out and I had to do a bunch of like technical stuff in the background. 
And there was a bunch of stuff that I'd been putting off for a long time because I wasn't really sure how to do it or I I wasn't confident that what I thought I needed to do was actually the thing that I needed to do. And so my lack of self-confidence in just going and doing it is what has held me back. And what I actually realized is, is once I got into it and I said, oh, okay, well, I think I know what I need to do. So let me just go and try it. And I actually went and did it and it worked. So, you know, things like setting up subdomains for the With AI network. So I've got the podcast now set up. So I have women, um, I have lawyers, I have education, I have creatives, obviously. So all of those are now set up as women.withai.fm and lawyers.withai.fm and education.withai.fm. And it's all linked into the platform. So all those shows now have a domain. So if you just go to that domain, it takes you directly to the website. And there's some, you know, there's some shows there that are linked in and it's all like working. And so then I got really bold and thought, okay, well, that worked. And I now, now that they're set up, I need to have some cover art for all that stuff. So again, I'd been, I have the core, the base files that I got from the designer who helped me with the creatives with AI cover art, but I didn't think, so this is my self-confidence. I didn't think that I had the skills to be able to edit those files and to be able to make something that was similar. So I didn't even try and I hadn't been trying it. But today, buoyed by the confidence from getting the, the networking stuff set up and working, I thought, okay, well, I'll just go and have a look. Can't hurt to have a look. And even if it doesn't work, then I know I need to do something else. But lo and behold, it turns out that it was much easier than I thought it would be. And so I was able to actually create all the cover art. So I now have cover art for each one of the channels and I was able to go in and do it. And I think the lesson that I learned today, again, is this is something that's plagued me my whole life, which is I don't think I can do something, therefore I put it off because I don't want to be confronted by the fact that I can't do it. And it's my confidence that gets in the way. But nine times or eight times out of ten, when I go to do whatever that thing is, I actually can do it. And I need to get better at not procrastinating because I don't think I can do something and just try it. And so that's my advice. If you think if you're not doing something because you think you can't do it, just go and give it a try and see if you can. I bet eight out of ten times you can probably work it out. Anyway, um, so that was really cool. So this all happened before lunchtime, though. So I was like, yes, okay, feeling really good. Had a couple of successes, really moved the ball forward on a few things. I had some really nice emails. Some people got back to me as they're coming back to work. It's like all oh, going really well. And then just got wiped out this afternoon totally um, by the diet stuff. So anyway, um, that was all good. And I at least managed to get a really good half a day in. And I'm not going to let the rest of the day drag me down um, after that happened. Um, what else did I want to talk about? That's the short version, um, basically, of what I was talking about before. Sorry, I'm looking down. I'm just checking the time and making sure that the, that the video is still working. And it seems to be working this time. So that's good. So yeah, what did I what did I talk about? I talked about um, getting up, feeling good on the diet, some successes, some of the website stuff. I think that's pretty much it actually for today. Now that I've done it once and distilled it down into something that's maybe a little bit more manageable. For anybody who is interested in the tech bit and what I'm doing differently, so the last couple of days. Oh, that, that's the other thing. So the last couple of days I was using QuickTime, just the basic video recording tool that comes on every single Mac to record the videos on. I have a Sony um, ZV-E10 camera that I use. And so I'd been recording in that on that, but I wanted to try a different tool. So I tried this tool called OBS 
and it's much more complicated, but it has a lot more features. It's what basically all the, like if you've ever seen a, a reaction video on YouTube or gamers, you know, showing while they're showing their screen while they're playing and that sort of thing, like most of those people use OBS. So it's really, really good once you figure out how to use it. So I wanted to try it, see how it works. I know how Riverside works, so I just wanted to compare. Anyway, completely messed it up the first time, but it seems to be working this time. So hopefully this will be all right and we'll, we'll post this up and see. For anybody who has looked at the YouTube channel, two things. One is I posted a video that I'd put into Premiere Pro and actually edited in there because I had a two camera setup. So one was, if you remember, I don't know if you remember, but I had this little tripod. So I did put my mobile phone on it and then I recorded, did a test recording using the Riverside platform with two, um, with two cameras. So that was cool. So maybe it's not so boring just looking at me directly in the camera. You know, you can actually get a sideways shot off a little bit just to make it a little bit more interesting and mix things up a bit. But I had some questions and I didn't really understand how it worked, which if you do watch the video, you'll see. But I also, because it was in Premiere Pro, I was able to start playing around with the editing a little bit more. And I promise I won't do this all the time, but I, I tried a whole bunch of things at once. So I put some borders in on the top and the bottom so it looks letterbox. And I tried adding a lower third, which is just putting your, I don't know which side this is going to show up on, name down in the corner somewhere. And so I wanted to put one of those in and sort of see how that worked. And I dropped a title screen in and I put a screen in at the end because again, one of the goals of this, of doing all these videos is to learn and to get better and to understand how that stuff works. So I did all that. And then the second item was, I was really wavering as to whether I should post it or not, or if I should just do it and keep it hidden as a, as a test. And I decided to go ahead and just make it public because again, part of this thing that I'm doing is for me to become more comfortable on video and talking to the camera and being more relaxed. And I thought it was quite interesting because, because I didn't initially think that I was going to post it, maybe I was more relaxed. I don't know, but it, I, I thought it was quite interesting and I just thought, nope, if I record something that's related to the journal, I'm just going to post it, whatever it is. And if people hate it and whatever, that's fine. Don't watch. Otherwise, if you want to watch some, some guy struggle with trying to figure out how to do video on his own and, you know, from, from YouTube videos, then maybe somebody else might find it interesting. I don't know. But, um, I have worked out how to do Riverside correctly. So maybe tomorrow I'll try that and see, or at the weekend I'll set it up see if I can get the colors. The, the biggest problem really is, is that the, the Sony camera is amazing and the colors that it produces and the way it looks and the, the blurred out background and all of that looks amazing compared to the video that comes out of the, of the mobile phone. And it's a, because it's a Samsung, it's a totally different, the way it renders colors is totally different. And it's, it's going to be really awkward in the beginning. Now, whether I can tweak it in Photoshop and try and make it look really similar by doing some color grading, I have no idea. I suspect that's beyond my skills, but go back to what I said earlier, I've got to try it, right? And just see if I can make it happen. So anyway, that's something else to play with. So that video is up there, even though it's maybe, it's not even embarrassing. It's just, it's a short video. That's a test just to do the thing. So that's what that's all about. And I think that's everything for tonight. So I will see you guys anon. Bye-bye.